Thank you. Thank you. Mr. Speaker, uh, to, to the gentleman from Texas, he obviously didn't read the bill. I recommend that you read the bills before you get up on the floor and make a fool of yourself. It says right here, Section 114, no benefit allowances, training, or other employment services may be provided under this chapter to a worker who is an alien unless the alien is an individual lawfully admitted for permanent residence to the United States, is lawfully present in the United States, or is permanently residing under color of the law. You stoop to conquer. Uh, you should be ashamed of yourselves. Every time you get in the corner, you got to bring up illegal aliens. It says it in the law. By the way, any law that I know of dealing with people who are out of work deals only with those people who are here legally. Get it? It's easy. It's simple. There's only three words here with more than three syllables. you got to understand that instead of coming to this floor and embarrassing yourselves. We know that the dramatically accelerated pace of globalization is one of the more major phenomena of this era. We accept this, but we also believe that we must help shape globalization and mitigate its negative side effects so that American workers are no longer left behind. Dislocated workers put out of their jobs as a result of trade decisions must be protected. We need first stop the hemorrhaging of the jobs. Just this morning, time has expired. A, a 39 to nothing vote. How dare someone come to the floor and twist the record? I want his words examined. They got the gentleman from Texas. I want his words examined. You can't come to the board and say whatever you want. This is not covered speech. Time has expired.